Hello everybody, Isabella from High Attire here and today I'm here with my husband Lucas and we are going to show you more or less the equivalent of this but for a man. Uh, we are looking at the first um, half of the 16th century at a sort of middling status, um, possibly a wealthy councilman, maybe a merchant or in this case a um, scientist, <laughs> a man, a learned man, that's what it is our position. Um, so without further ado, let us have a look at what Lucas is wearing at the moment. Not much as you can see and it's absolutely freezing here, believe me, it's, it's, it's frost outside and the hall, um, it's a, obviously a period and gatehouse, so it's really cold, so let, not, let us not keep him too much in his undergarments. He's wearing very appropriately um, thick woolen hose or garters and hose at that time would be either sort of hand visit um, as here or made in cloth. So these ones are really thick winter layer. He's um, got a linen shirt and linen underpants pairs. Um, again, the, that's, that's the part that would be washed most often and a member of the statue would have several shirts uh, at his disposal. They would be laundered um, regularly because that's the only layer that actually would be washed. <laughs> Funny that explains a lot. Right, let's get to the functional layers which is a doublet and in this case it's pointed to a trunk hose. So doublet changed a lot from the 15th century idea and at this point it's just sort of can be either with sleeves or sleeveless. Here the sleeve is sort of cut, cut out. And it's pointed directly to the trunk hose. Both are in wool lined with linen. The points are wool and nice linen lace. And obviously you have, very suitable for the era, a very shapely cut piece. You get a stuffed chimper pouch to cover a different pouch entirely. Right, uh, you can have these obviously separate and then pointed on the body, but if you are a man who likes to get up fast and be about it with no delay, you just jump straight into it. So please demonstrate. Especially when it's a distant ship. Yes. <laughs> Are decoratively slashed and you can't just see the silk lining poking through them. Now obviously I would not be um, helping him, a man servant would, would do so, but if you're travelling or staying in high lodgings or maybe your patronage does not really stretch much to handling a man servant, then a wife would have to do. So oh, wow, goodness, that's almost there. <laughs> As you can see, it's actually quite a fast get up. Right. So obviously the cut piece is a whole flap that can be um, unpointed at one end if you really need to cut it to loop. Or for more romantic purposes. I'll let you do it. I think it's quite frozen, I must say. At that point, the doublet um, was mostly a functional layer to keep your hose on. And we made it as a more sort of summery version, so no sleeves. And you would have a proper sleeved one <laughs> for wintry conditions like this. Yes. <laughs> also be buttoned or you can have layers of points but the layers like this makes it a little bit easier to control and provides a nice tight fit. Right. The colour is a very fashionable tawny as you can see my kerfa was made in exactly the same colour. So I've used the off-cuts to make my husband a little educated. 
So um, again, as a man who is um, involved in learning or in, in, in a job, a profession, um, you would be smoothly shaved, hmm, quite possibly behind today. That's what I'm doing. But um, for a court, you are going to see Thomas More being uh, quite clean, sort of um, shaved. But fashionable gentlemen would sport a beard. I have my wife, I have no need for fashion. I have no need for beards. <laughs> it's not my favourite. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give it a, definitely a smoother shave than this one. I will see to um, The coif, as you can see, quite a lot worn under different caps and hats, would predominantly say, uh, serve as a layer to protect your hat from the grease of the hair and obviously it's a hygienic purpose of keeping the hair clean as long as possible because you know you don't have a shower every day or every week <laughs> well i hope you've enjoyed it and um, well if you want to have a look at what i'm wearing there's a separate video of, of that and i've lost my purchase for some reason so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.